I'm just here. You know how this go. If I was on your team, it'd be the same way. You know, you got to respect. Meat Mill comes at 50 Cent in defense of Diddy's son, King Combs. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion with your guy Alize. Don't forget to subscribe. So, I ain't gonna lie, this came out of left field. The last person who I thought would jump out publicly and defend Diddy's son or Diddy's family was Meek. Now we all know Meek's been rumored to have had a close relationship, should I say, with Diddy. There's that audio on Twitter going around, which is supposed to be Meek getting the business from Diddy. But this situation has started from King Combs, in fact. He dropped a diss song called Pick a Side, which basically is defending his family, defending his, his dad, Diddy. But he also named Jots 50 Cent and pretty much is kind of threatening. 50, of course, caught wind of that, went straight to social media as he does and started trolling him back with a series of posts such as this. Damn, King Combs, that what you told Grace or Marco on that boat, huh? Gave it the puffy juice with that special sauce in it. LOL. Boy, oh boy. Bad boy for life. Well, Meek, like I said, came to his defense and he posted this. Because you're federal, the street ninjas in Queens know that's why you're trying to pick on a little boy. Your own son hates your guts. LOL. I'm so grateful to be on an island with my son and his friends on his birthday. Don't follow these guys their miserable lives be terrible. Meek went on, y'all ninjas 50 online beefing with kids. Of course y'all ninjas left all y'all friends and family behind. Y'all holding the culture back for real. Old hating manipulating ninjas, lol. And true Meek's fashion, there's a few tweets people. I say what I want because war come behind me if that's the case, lol. But y'all got the rap ish too loose. Somebody gonna die. Y'all all gonna be calling Farrakhan or y'all federal friends just because y'all not hot no more tearing your folks down all y'all can do he goes on oh i ran into 50 many times he only had monster around him that was risking his life and really holding the line nobody trusts him 50 he too vicious ninja spoke on my child like this ninja mentally sick lol i never seen black people laugh at black people getting indicted he really be online enhancing people's cases and he got real statements against ninjas. You ain't feed Mike Knox yet. Everybody onto you. Last but not least, meet Millie super outside all summer. Y'all talk too much with no content. LOL. Meet Millie. Once he gets his thumbs out, man, he be on that Twitter like crazy. It's funny though, he mentions people having contact with federal agents when he said he's got friends in government as well. So kind of contradicting himself there, I ain't gonna lie. But of course, people, 50 Cent has responded to these tweets. He said, you sold 6K copies of your last project. You should not be on vacation. Still chasing the dream or embracing the nightmare. Standing by your man. That I respect. Now, Meek did respond to this tweet as well. Like, clearly showing that he does want to smoke with 50. He goes, my last project sold 90K first week. Expensive pain. Rosted that last CD for fun to let me out my contract because we rich and have some type of history. It's different. I don't even know how Cuban was talking to you. Your swag is extremely whack. Jeez. It's funny how Meek's getting all brave like this with 50. Kind of changed his tune quite dramatically compared to when he was speaking to Angie Martinez a few years ago. I actually seen 50 Cent one day. I seen 50, he coming out of the hotel. We coming, you know, we going back and forth on the internet. Mm -hmm. 50 and I'm a serious situation in traffic. Like, this ain't no, like, average little... Lightweight rapper, some of you run through these. 50 ain't no like, he ain't lightweight when it come to traffic. You got, yo, we holler, we went to the side like men. You know what I'm saying? Like men had a good conversation. Yo, man, you know, we both come from the streets. You know what this could lead to, such and such. You got these type of dudes with you. I got these type of dudes with me, man. I always looked up to you, fam. I don't even know how we got on this foot, such and such. He spoke on like, yeah, just with slow, you start rhyming like, yeah, slow and I'm, this is my man's. It's, you know how the streets go, it's just that mm -hmm. way, you know what I'm saying? I wish y'all could stop tomorrow. Uh, Rick Ross, fortunately, this happened to be the person that put me on. <laughs> I'm just here, you know how this go. If I was on your team, it'd be the same way, you know? You gotta respect. Yeah, fam, how times have changed. And look at these tweets as well back in the day. Anybody who go against 50 is out of their mind. 50 is a whole different animal. 
He got a list of bodies under him and he's certified in these streets. Well, clearly Meek Mill and 50 Cent won't be sending Christmas cards to each other. But it seems like the old beef has come back because obviously they fell out before because Meek is good with a lot of 50's enemies and that's never a good combo with 50 Cent. 50 obviously doesn't get along with Rick Ross. That was a guy that put Meek on, like Meek said in the video. And then a guy called Slow Bucks that used to be G-Unit affiliated. 50 and Slow fell out and then Meek and Slow are still cool. So again, a bit more tension. But hey, in the industry, you're going to have people that you're cool with who are cool with people you're not cool with. It's just standard. But it'll be interesting to see where this goes. I don't see 50 Cent laying off Meek Mill's neck now. He's going to be in trouble. At the same time, Meek Mill, he's always on his Twitter. So anything 50 shoots, I think Meek will come straight back. But Meek will have a flurry of tweets in like one day or a couple of days. Whereas 50 will just consistently, week after week, month after month, be just getting at you. 50 already posted a video of Meek doing some karaoke. Whether it's a real audio, I don't know. But it's Meek singing some song and then Puffy turns around and is like jamming with him like, it's funny, I didn't even realise these two were so close like that. And you know, I wonder, why was Meek Mill and, and Puffy so close before you got into trouble? They're not on the same label. They're not the same age. It does look a bit sus, in my opinion. And obviously, there's that infamous picture of them wearing the same outfit together. But hey, it's 2024. You got to do your thing. But that's my opinion. I want to know yours. How do you think this is going to go between 50 and Meek Mill? Sounds like an interesting matchup to be honest. Leave a comment below, like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. It'd be much appreciated. It's Fresh Hip Hop Opinion. Peace and love.